For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. The love of God is the Lord Jesus Christ, and Jesus Christ is God. And the Bible states that God is love. And the love is that Jesus Christ suffered and died for you. Jesus Christ took the punishment. He took the abusement of God for our sin. The wrath of God was placed upon Jesus, upon Calvary's cross. And when you suffer and die in hell because you rejected Jesus, you do it most foolishly because you need not to go to hell when Jesus Christ has paid the penalty. When the price has been paid by God himself, that you must be born again, that you must put your faith in Jesus. For by faith are we saved through grace and not of ourselves. It's a gift of God. And the gift of God is that God loves us. And the love of God, John 3, 16, is Jesus Christ. Now, God's not willing that any should perish, the Bible says. God is long-suffering. And when a man dies and goes off to hell, like the Bible says, it's because they have refused and they have rejected God's gift of Jesus Christ. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. It's that simple. When Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and the life, no man cometh unto the Father but by me. There is no room for religion. There is no room for your works and you being good enough when the Bible says there is none that doeth good. No, not one. It is simple enough that God's plan of salvation of going to heaven is through Jesus Christ. And without Jesus Christ, you will die and go to hell. It's that simple. You cannot walk into a baseball stadium with football tickets. It don't work. And you cannot walk into heaven without Jesus Christ. Religion is man-made. Jesus Christ is God-approved. The gospel is that Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scripture. That there is no other means, there is no other way when Jesus said, I am the way. You cannot get to heaven by church attendance. You cannot get to heaven by baptism. You've got to go through the door and Jesus says, I am the door. In Revelation chapter 3, he is knocking on the door for you to come out. You gotta step out. You gotta come out of the world and religion and science and everything. I say don't clean them up. It's plain and simple. The Bible says, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. It doesn't say believe in anything else. And the gospel is that Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures. And was buried. And arose again the third day according to the scriptures.
according to the scriptures, so salvation has been brought upon at Calvary. The church is not at Calvary. That thief that died on the cross that got right with Jesus did not have time to be attendance anywhere but the cross. He wasn't taken down to be baptized. He didn't have time to be good. He was on the cross because he was a criminal. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. It's that plain and simple. It's not a denomination, it's a man. The man Christ Jesus who is also God. God certifies salvation going to heaven upon the finished work of Jesus Christ alone. It is the work of Jesus Christ on the loan of Calvary's cross that saves a man. That dying thief on the cross is in hell. There is nothing that dying thief done on that cross to save his soul. The other thief on the cross all that he did upon that cross to go to heaven, paradise, was put his faith and belief on the one that died on the cross, Jesus Christ. That dying thief didn't go to church. That dying thief wasn't baptized. That dying thief didn't give money. He believed on the man, Christ Jesus. And the Jesus that was on the cross on Calvary that afternoon was not only a man named Jesus, born of Bethlehem, but that man Jesus is also God, and the blood that was spilt of Jesus' blood on that cross, Acts 20:28, 20, is the blood of God. And the blood of God, the Bible says, is what purchased the church. There is no church before salvation. The church are people who are saved through Jesus Christ. And you become the body called the church. But there is no unsaved church that you may go to to be saved. You've got to come to the one that is God, manifest in the flesh, Jesus Christ, to be, and to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and become that body, the church. The church is only made up of those that are saved. And there's coming a time, I don't know when, but in event what we call the rapture. And Christ will come for his church. And you may be in a church at the rapture and still be left behind in a church. Because you are not part of the church by the blood of Jesus Christ in the gospel. If the rapture happens and there's churches, many will be left behind in the churches. Because they are not of the church by the testimony in the gospel that Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scriptures. Now I go to church not for salvation. I go to church to know and grow in the Lord through the scriptures, through a preacher preaching to me out of the scriptures and the fellowship with the brethren to pray for others as they pray for us. But going to church has not saved my soul. Going to church helps me to grow. But it does not. 
get me to heaven. And you may go to a church, and if you have not put your faith and trust in Jesus, you go to church all you want without salvation, you'll still die and go to hell as a churchgoer. And there are many churchgoers in, in hell today because they have not put their faith and belief upon Jesus Christ. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. It's that simple. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. It doesn't say join a church membership, become on the church roll to get to heaven. That's a lie. You could be an unsaved person going to church and you'll still go to hell being in a church. There are no Baptists, there are no Catholics, there's no Presbyterians in, he in heaven. Christians are in heaven and Christians are one that put your faith and belief upon Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone. That's a Christian. Now this big mega church called the Catholic Church that claims to be Christian is a church that has killed Christians. They have tortured Christians. And if you look at church history, the Catholic Church is not of Jesus, but of Satan. And if you are an unsaved person in a church, you are still a child of Satan. Jesus says in John 8, 44, you can have your father the devil. He's a liar. John 8, 44. And he'll lie to you. Oh, you're so okay by giving money. You're so great. How great thou art. That's a lie of Satan. It's how great that Jesus Christ is. It's how righteous Jesus Christ is. It is what Jesus Christ has done to save our soul. Not ourselves. Not ourselves. Church is for growing. It's not for salvation. These things, come as you are. All are welcome. Really? You want to sign all those people up for your children's church and your children's nursery of all the, the sin today rampant in the world? That's not the sign on heaven, all are welcome. All are going to heaven through Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone. The Bible says, go in all the world and preach the gospel. The gospel is that Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures and was buried and arose again the third day. All are welcome. All can come to believe, but the Bible says reality is broad is the way that leads to destruction and many go therein. Straight is the gate and narrows the way and the few that go in. Many people are not going to heaven. I don't care you think, oh, you are, you're not going without Jesus. You're not good enough. The Bible says there is none that doeth good, no, not one. Hell is full of good people. Hell is full of <coughs> Christians. Hell is full of religion, but hell has no Christians that are saved by the blood of Jesus Christ. And whatever your belief is, is no opinion of God, but the belief in Jesus Christ. God manifested in the flesh to save your soul. You might be surprised where you find yourself after death. Because there are many devout people. They're devoted to a religion. And they might be quite shocked to realize that their religion has failed them. Now, I'm not saying that all Catholics are unsaved. I won't say. I believe a lot of Catholics are saved. They're just not enjoying it. There's a lot of Methodists saved. There's a lot of Baptists saved. But Methodists, Baptists, and Catholics are not in heaven. 
those who are saved by the blood of Jesus Christ. And but when you look at the institution called Baptist, called Congregation, called Jehovah Witnesses, called whatever religion is, if it's without Jesus Christ, it's a religion and it will get you to hell. Look if we can. And if you can say, preacher, I'm going heaven, I'm going to heaven by Jesus Christ and his work. You're going. To count to go to heaven by Jesus Christ alone. You're going. Because that's what my account is. It's nothing that I have done and nothing I will do to get me to heaven. It's settled by the finished work of Jesus Christ. I've come out of the Catholic Church. I come out of the Catholic Church and got saved through the blood of Jesus Christ, and I am now a Christian by Jesus Christ. Only by Jesus. And when God sees the good that's in me, that good is Jesus Christ and not me. Born in the dark of the night. When God sees the flesh in me, he sees sin. That's a good thing. Because I am saved doesn't mean that sin has been eliminated. I'm still a sinner. Saved by grace. Salvation has not made my life 100%. And yet, the Bible says, if you live as a Bible-believing Christian, all they that live godly shall suffer persecution. It may get worse as salvation. Salvation will not heal your cancer. Salvation will not fix your marriage. Salvation will not improve things, but it will settle from you from going to hell, going to heaven by having your name written in the Lamb's Book of Life. It may help you. It may solve, but there's no guarantee. But one guarantee that salvation will do for you. When you die, you will not go to hell. And when we die and go to glory after we are in New Jerusalem, the Bible says there's a new body. No more, no more sorrow. No more tears. No more saying goodbye. No more pain. The former things are passed away. But that's all through Jesus Christ. Without Jesus Christ, the Bible says, torment. Torment for rejecting Jesus Christ and dying and going to hell. Hell is so easy to get into. You know how easy it is? Man always says, go to hell. Oh, go to hell. We preach that you might not go to hell. And yet, going to heaven is simple. The simpleness of going to heaven is believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. It's that simple. Religion will make it hard. Do this, do that, come here, go there, do this, listen to him, listen to that. And the Bible says, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. It's simple to go to heaven and it's simple to go to hell. And the choice is yours. No one can make that choice but you alone. It has not been made for you. You have heard the preaching of the gospel. That Jesus saved. And only Jesus saved. And when you reject 
Jesus Christ. And you die with that rejection. You will die and go off to hell. And you'll never come out of hell. And when you trust in Jesus Christ and die and go to heaven, you'll never get out of heaven. It's simple to be saved by Jesus. It's simple to go to hell, anything but Jesus. You'll always be in heaven by Jesus, and you'll always be in hell by whatever. One place is glorification, mercy, and grace, and and no more pain and no more suffering. The other place is torment. Darkness. And pain. You see, Jesus, the Lamb of God, which take away the sin of the world. Now, if you want to pay for your own sin, you go to hell. And in hell you will pay for your sin that Jesus Christ has already paid. And in law that's called double jeopardy. And it is really illegal in America to have double jeopardy, but to fall off into hell to pay for your sin when they've already been paid by Jesus is foolish. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the light. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. There is no other way but Jesus. There is no purgatory. There is no soul sleep. In Christ, when you die, you are absent from the body and present with the Lord. In the devil, you die, you're buried, and you wake up in hell. And in hell, you have eyes. You have a tongue. And you feel, and you know, and you remember. As you're tormented. As you are in pain. Forever. In glory, you get a brand new body. No more pain, no more suffering, no more sorrow, no more death by Jesus Christ. And forever to be settled by the forever one, the eternal Jesus Christ who is God. And rest assured, your father, the devil, will be in hell with you, being tormented, and he'll enjoy it. You know the Bible says Satan's joy is to have people go to hell with him. That's the joy of Satan. The joy of God is Jesus Christ for a man to believe. You know, many do not like the preaching that is brought. And yet Romans chapter 10, when, when someone preaches the gospel, God says, I love them feet. I love the man that talks about and uplifts and exalts Jesus Christ. Religion exalts man. And that's pride. And pride is a sin. Where God has said, be holy, for I am holy. You can't be holy and have sin. The Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world. The only way you can remove sin in the eyes of God is through Jesus Christ. For all have sinned, all have come short of the glory of God. There is none righteous, no, not one. The wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Only by Jesus Christ can you get to heaven. Love can't be bought.
anyone, anything else will get you to hell. It's that standard of God. That standard of holiness. The holiness of God and the holiness of Jesus Christ. For a sinner such as us. No sin will go into glory, and yet we are sinners. And you can't get rid of your sins except you come to the Lamb of God, which take away the sin of the world. Your religion cannot wash sins, it only adds to the sin. Sinners can only be washed in the blood of Jesus. Money cannot buy and, and deal with sin. Baptism cannot wash away sin. It can wash away your dirt, but it can't wash away your sin. Church membership, how can that get rid of your sins when the Bible says the Lamb of God which take away our sins? The Bible says, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Nowhere does it say the church take away the sin of the world. Nowhere does it say believe on the church. Again, the church is the body of people that put their faith in Jesus. And when we go to church, we fellowship together, we pray for each other, we learn the scriptures, we grow in the Lord through church, but we are not saved through a church. Being saved is you are the church. Being unsaved and in the church only makes you a visitor. You can be in your church from your whole entire life and be unsaved and you're still a, you're still a visitor. And visitors don't go to heaven. You could be a pastor of a church and be unsaved. You ain't going to heaven because you're the pastor. You cannot have a sinner relieve you of your sin. No other man can clean your sins but the man Christ Jesus. For it's only by Jesus Christ. It's not by Father so-and-so or Pastor so-and-so. It's by God, Jesus Christ, manifest in the flesh. The gospel that he suffered and died according to the scripture. And was buried. And arose again the third day according to the scripture. You are not going to heaven when you have rejected Jesus Christ. Go anywhere, do anything, do all to your pleasure. And without Jesus Christ, you will go to hell. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. You know, Judas went to a priest and he confessed his sin. He said, I have betrayed the innocent blood. And the Bible records he went to his own place in hell after going to a priest. That dying thief that received Jesus Christ alone is in glory. And he had no opportunity to do anything but believe Jesus. And he's in glory today. And whatever that other 
thief believe whatever that other thief did, he rejected Jesus. And he died, he went to hell. Now the other man that, that died on that cross that afternoon was God manifested in the flesh. That is the Savior. That is the one that spilt God's blood that we might be saved. That is Jesus Christ. And the Bible says, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. It's that simple. It's heaven or hell. And the Bible says, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. That was said to the Philippian jailer who was going to commit suicide. Paul said, no, wait a minute, wait a minute, before you die, before you die, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. And he got saved in his house. And that guy lived a little longer. And he is in heaven today, too, with his family. But his family and friends that did not get saved, did not believe on Jesus, they're not in heaven, they're in hell. The Bible says, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. 